terrible karma finally got on Meghan for stole the sound bite off Kate in Rare Fab 4 outing. Meghan Markle has been accused of stealing the sound bite from Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, during their on stage appearance for Heads Together. Meghan Markle, 40, appeared on stage in 2018 with Kate and Princes Harry and William after she was announced as the fourth patron of the Royal Foundation. But the Duchess of Sussex stole headlines from Kate when she discussed female empowerment, a royal commentator has claimed. Christine Ross noted that the project she described as Kate's brainchild also had personal family links. Meghan Markle, 40, appeared on stage in 2018 with Kate and Princes Harry and William after she was announced as the fourth patron of the Royal Foundation. But the Duchess of Sussex stole headlines from Kate when she discussed female empowerment, a royal commentator has claimed. Christine Ross noted that the project she described as Kate's brainchild also had personal family links. It was an interesting introduction into the power struggle and the really complicated dynamic between the four of them and then we never saw the four of them together again. Royal biographer Tina Brown has since claimed Meghan took up a majority of the airtime. Writing in her new book, The Palace Papers, Inside the House of Windsor, The Truth and the Turmoil, she said, with blithe proprietorship, she deployed an issue that was not even on the foundation's docket, women's empowerment, then at its fervid height with the acceleration of the hashtag MeToo movement. Women don't need to find a voice. They have a voice. They need to feel empowered to use it, Meghan quotably exhorted as Harry looked on with awe and his brother and Kate stood by with expressionless irritation. It comes as former U.S. President Donald Trump has called for the Queen to strip the Duke and Duchess of Sussex of their titles. In an interview with Piers Morgan, Mr. Trump told the presenter's new talk TV show Piers Morgan uncensored that Harry was whipped like no person I think I've ever seen. He predicted Harry and Meghan's relationship would end badly, branded the Duke an embarrassment and said it was terrible that he missed the Duke of Edinburgh's memorial service. Harry was absent when the royal family gathered in remembrance of Philip in March, but travelled with Meghan to see his grandmother the Queen for the first time in two years this month on his way to the Invictus Games in The Hague. The Duchess of Cambridge often uses her enviable wardrobe to send subtle messages and touching nods to others and royal fans believe she may have used one of her most recent outfits to send a powerful signal of support to other women. Last week, Kate joined Princess Anne for a rare joint engagement at the Royal College of Midwives and the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. For the event, Kate opted to wear an oatmeal-coloured dress from the brand Self-Portrait that featured two very distinct symbols on the jacket. If you look closely, the symbols resemble pineapples, a fruit that has become a symbol of hope for those struggling with infertility. According, the fruit often appears in social media profiles of women in online infertility communities. The publication explains, they are most widely known as a symbol of hospitality and welcoming. But on social media, pineapples are inextricably tied to infertility. On Instagram, the hashtag hashtag pineapple tribe aims to connect women going through IVF. And given Kate and Anne discussed maternity service and support for those experiencing high-risk pregnancies, royal fans believe the pineapple symbol was no coincidence. One royal fan said, Catherine always does her research and goes the extra mile. While another added, she does her homework. Just yesterday, Kate stunned in another eye-catching outfit when she presented the Queen Elizabeth II Award for British Design at an event hosted by the British Fashion Council. In at an event host 